Let's next consider the fourth A assist in greater detail. Let's talk about how a doctor may assist a patient to plan a quit in a practical manner when a patient is ready to quit. For people who are ready to quit or going through the quitting process, it is important for the doctor to prepare them for the three main challenges they will face, the biological, the psychological and the social. The three big challenges to quitting, biological, that is withdrawal, psychological, that is cravings, and social, that is social influences to smoke. In the short QTI clinical videos, in the assist phase, you have seen the doctor giving quit booklets to the patients. If you have a little more time, you can discuss with the patients on the specific quit challenges that they are facing and what is possible for them to do. Physical challenges to quitting. The first role play is about how to deal with withdrawal symptoms. It is very important to give the patient an idea of how long these symptoms are likely to last, that is two or four days, and how to deal with the possible symptoms they will experience. Doctor, I need your help desperately. What happened? Please tell me. Um, as we discussed, I quit smoking. This is the third day. But I don't think I can hold on. Tell me your problems. I cannot sleep. I am not getting concentration. My mouth tastes very bad. I am getting irritated. I think of taking, taking up smoking again. You are suffering from withdrawal symptoms. Many of my patients who have quit experience these symptoms in the first few days. The good news is that these symptoms will last only for the first few days and then you will feel much better. Your body needs to adjust back to the non-smoking status. In the initial few days, you will experience some short-term discomfort, but after that, it will get better. It is like adjusting to a new diet. When you go somewhere, the diet is different, and you may take some time to adjust to that. Isn't it? Yes, but what can I do about it? This is very distressing. Don't worry. I will tell you some things which my other patients have found helpful in similar situations. You can drink a lot of water when you feel the urge to smoke a cigarette. You need to walk about half an hour every day. Drinking a lot of water, as I just mentioned, is very helpful in uh, removing that craving as also in removing the toxic substances from your body. Having plenty of fruits and vegetables will also be helpful for you. But you should not drink too much of tea or coffee when you feel like smoking a cigarette. You can try chewing some spices to get rid of the bad taste in your mouth. But sir, can I at least have my toilet cigarette to avoid constipation? No, that is not a good idea. Even a single puff can lead you back to your old habit. As I said, taking long walks, drinking plenty of water and consuming fruits and vegetables will help you prevent constipation. But if you are really concerned about this, I can prescribe you a mild laxative that you can take as required for this problem. I am relieved to know that these symptoms are common experience and it's short-lived. I will try the measures you have suggested. You may feel lazy or restless in the initial adjustment days. You will breathe better and also be feeling much better. So now you see how important it is for the doctors to give patients specific advice on what they can do for specific challenges. Also explore with the patients what is possible for them to do. Psychological challenges to quitting. Doctor, I quit smoking for two days now, but I terribly miss my after lunch cigarette. Mm -hmm. I have this strong desire to smoke at that time. Okay. What should I do? This is a very common problem. If you can Hold off that urge for a few minutes, it will pass away. And over a few days, this will decrease. I can tell you what some of my other patients try doing when they feel this sort of urge. Some of them actually use cardamom or cloves. They chew it for some time when they feel this urge. Some others drink a whole tumbler full of water. Some of them go for a walk. Uh, some of them call somebody and talk to them. 
In fact, I have a patient who sings when they feel the urge. What do you think you can do to overcome this urge when you have this problem? I think the shows and the feeling song and water, I think I can do that. Some others do deep breathing like pranayama or if they are in the house, they watch TV. You smoke after lunch as a way of relaxing. Try to find some other way of relaxing like calling your non-smoking friends or relatives and talking to them. Make this a new habit of relaxing and it will be helpful. Social challenges to quitting. Social challenges need to be taken seriously. We have seen in many cases that people just cannot refuse a cigarette when it is offered by a friend or a relative. We as doctors have to prepare the patients in order to say no politely. And also we should ask them to ask the support of these friends as a measure of their friendship in order to say no to smoking. Doctor, I really want to stop smoking. I understand now how it is interfering with me regaining my health. But doctor, the main problem is my friends. Most of them having the habit of smoking. And they are my best friends and they they were with me in all my crucial problems. I spend a lot of time with them after my work. I feel uncomfortable refusing a cigarette when it is offered to me. And doctor, I don't want to lose the friendship. What have you told your friends? I told my friends that I was strictly advised by my doctor to stop smoking. And how did they respond? Two are okay with this, but others continue to offer and, and then all joins. My friends say that uh, I do not smoke much, that I have to worry. And uh, they say that still I am strong. And what do you do? I take one and smoke a half of it. Remind your friends that you were strictly advised by your doctor to stop smoking because of your shortness of breath. Another thing you can try is perhaps tell them that you've made a vow to your children or to your mother or at some church or mosque or temple uh, to stop smoking. Why don't you try one of these? I'll think about that, but I'm not sure. Think about what would be most effective in your situation and prepare for it. True friends are those who will support and encourage you in your decision or vow to stop smoking, don't you think?